the Leo and Danny show. Um, and it didn't look, it's trial and error. You can learn from our mistakes. And again, in, in your world now, like where kids are getting canceled on Twitter, like one of Nez's buddies, he got like, uh, he slapped a girl's ass at a party two years ago. Ooh. And this girl then said she, he has like a decent job now. He was working for like a lawyer uh -huh. and she had about 250 of her friends email that lawyer about how he, she was sexually assaulted by the guy that Ooh. works there. Did he get fired? I don't know. I think he did. I feel like most law firms will smile upon a guy who does that kind of thing. Because <laughs> every lawyer I've ever met is, seems to be on a lot of cocaine. Uh, cocaine, alcohol. I mean, it's the most dissatisfied profession. Mm -hmm. I was telling this to people recently. My sister told me that once she pays off her law school debt, she wants to open a fucking bakery or a coffee shop. Really? So basically, she's going to have to work for 15 years to pay off the loans mm -hmm. she incurred to tread water for 15 years. Girl, what, what if you... She just lost 15 years of her life. So it's no wonder they're a bunch of scumbag coke addicts. Are you going to help her out when you're making that Danny Duncan money? Yeah, I will. Really? Yeah, I never thought of that before, Leo, but I will. But you will. When you're making that Danny Duncan movie, you, you money, you help her out. And full disclosure, the amount of asses I slapped at parties... Mm -hmm is in the triple digits. I never did that. You know why? Because I was always so large. I felt like women were already kind of like intimidated by like my size mm -hmm. and shit. And I never thought like I could get away with that. I never did that. But I still got me too. See, so you can't yeah. fucking get, I mean, but, you know, I, I loved sending fucking gawk pics when girls were interested. Yeah. It was only when they were interested, but uh, whatever. I'd love to get me too. And I need the press. <laughs> Merch sales would go through the fucking roof. If I Dude, would you do a Me Too uh, <laughs> t-shirt? A Me Too t-shirt? Just me Just with what? My cock out? Me slapping an ass? <laughs> it depends what the offense was. And I it's, would have to mimic that in cartoon. It, it sucks that they made a sham of serious sexual assault by just making anything uh, a Me we've Too talked allegation. About we've this. talked yeah, about that. But it is bullshit, yeah. dude. And it's not like we're not advocators of sexual assault by any means. Uh, speak for yourself. I knew it. Speak for I uh, know. No, we're not. As the great Louis C.K. once said, rape is bad. Like You shouldn't rape somebody unless you want to have sex with them and they don't want to. <laughs> then how are you going to have sex with them? You got to rape. Oh, God, dude. Louis C.K. could make like some fucked up shit funny, huh? It's a master at that. He's a good fucking man. I've been listening to his podcast that he has with his new girlfriend who wow. lives in France. Hmm. I listened to half an episode. I listened to a quarter of an episode hmm. and I paid for it. So I feel like I should go listen to the rest of them. It doesn't seem like a good match for Louis C.K. She's a hag. Hmm. She has a spit cup for tobacco. She's trying to quit smoking cigarettes. So I think she like chews some sort of oral tobacco and just spits in a fucking it's cup disgusting. all the time. <laughs> it's horrendously repellent. It's disgusting. And she doesn't seem nearly as smart as him because Louis C.K. is a fucking genius. That guy knows so much about everything. Yeah. When you hear him on podcasts and you hear his long form content, you realize how smart he is. Yeah. So I'm not sure how it's working out.